exclusive contracted novel by Felu Novel Network. Sihiyuan. Listening to advice at the age of eight, becoming a great country craftsman, Lin Chunrong traveled to a courtyard house, where his father went missing, his mother was blind, and his family was in ruins. Fortunately, with the system bound, you can benefit from listening to advice. Jia Zhang. I tricked him into buying silk and making clothes, but he became a shareholder of the silk shop. After a month of doing nothing, the boss came to pay him. Third Grandpa. I just advised him to learn medicine to save his mother, but he actually cured his mother's eyes and even became a miracle doctor. Silly Zhu. I advised him to confess to the street office that he had doubts about his father's identity. Surprisingly, he became a family member of a martyr and was even praised and given a pension by the street office. Grandpa 1. I just thought this kid was too arrogant and wanted to discourage him. I advised him to take the college entrance examination, but he actually got into Peking University and became the top scorer. Lu Guangqi. I advised him to have an early romance, but he actually found the beautiful little daughter of the big leader, and the big leader even agreed immensely. Second Grandpa. I just told him to keep his feet down and enter the workshop, but he came up with a secret weapon. Promoted to factory director and became my leader. Su Damao. I, I didn't say anything. How could he become the heartthrob of the chief? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. Who does not travel through time and who is outdated? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Third, did I give you the idea to chase after the girl? Remember to transfer the money to me if you do. Oh, I received it. Thank you, boss. Old four, come down and wash your stinky socks quickly. Your basin is full and you've spilled it into my basin. If you infect my face with athlete's foot, I'll eat your annual meal card. Lin Chuanrong stood in the middle of the dormitory, shouting loudly. I'll wash it now. Lao Si saw Lin Chuanrong turning over to bed and quickly stopped him. Chun Rong, don't sleep. Come and play a game with me later. LV Bu vows to follow his adoptive father to the death. Lin Chuanrong pulled the blanket onto his body and said to the fourth player, one round of 250, you're the king. I'll go, Chuanrong. If you become the boss, it will only make you a more unscrupulous businessman. Lin Chuanrong laughed and cursed, rolling calf, dad is going to sleep. He comes from an orphan background, and his tuition and living expenses are supported by his father in the country. But he can't always eat the country's food, so whenever he has the opportunity, he finds ways to make money. Taking advantage of the support of college student entrepreneurship projects, he established a studio as a small boss and earned a lot of money. After Lin Chuanrong became wealthy, he spent a lot of money generously and often invited his roommates to have a meal and wash their feet, thanking them for their past care. But he still earns money whenever he has the opportunity, and even a piece of 80 cents is not too small. Especially a few roommates, he pulled the wool the most. Lying in bed, Lin Chuanrong felt as if his eyelids weighed a thousand pounds. He is particularly tired today. He could still hear his roommate calling him in a daze. Second, wake up. Spring glory, wake up, wake up. Something cold was placed on the forehead, and a crying female voice came into my ears. They all said they wanted to sleep, and their sons became increasingly immature. They must wake up early tomorrow and run errands to buy breakfast, Lin Chuanrong thought so. Wait a moment, female voice. He lives in a male dormitory. Lin Chuanrong, open his eyes wide. The female voice was pleasantly surprised and said, My son, you've already woken up. Just wake up. Lin Chuanrong sat up in a daze, ignoring the wet towel that had fallen on the blanket, and looked around with his eyes. 
ashy and peeling walls, tables and chairs with missing arms and legs, and a woman sitting in front of her bed wearing worn dot out clothes it's not an exaggeration to describe it as having nothing to do. Take a look at your little arms and hands again. He traveled through time, which was Lin Chuanrong's first thought. The second thought is, damn it, he's dead, let those sons be promoted to heaven through graduate school. If he could sell his guaranteed graduate spots, it would be equivalent to him losing tens of thousands. And all the money he has earned in his bank account over the years is gone Lin Chunro, who had returned to before the liberation overnight, remained silent, silently sorting out the memories in his mind. He traveled to the world of, love full courtyard, filled with beasts in the courtyard. This body is also called Lin Chunro. My father went missing three years ago, and my mother missed her husband and cried in one eye. A few days ago, he had a high fever and bought medicine to treat his illness. His family ran out of last penny. If Lin Chunrong had not traveled through time, Lin Chunrong in this world might have really disappeared. Skip all the nonsense and summarize in one sentence. He is Lin Chunrong, now an eight-year-old child living in 49th City in 1951. Time travel, let's go through it. Throw him into the mud, he can survive tenaciously. The reluctance to part with roommates and past wealth in my heart was soon interrupted by hunger in my belly. Food is the paramount necessity of the people, and even after crossing time, one must eat. Mom, is there anything to eat? Cheap Mama's face turned pale and instructed Lin Chunrong to wait for her at home, then hurriedly pushed the door and left. Lin Chunrong waited for a long time but couldn't find anyone. He got up and walked towards the direction of the kitchen in his memory. The stomach kept rumbling and even started to ache from hunger. Lin Chunrong had no choice but to press his stomach with his hands to make himself feel better. Fill your stomach first, then you can consider the next path. Lin Chunrong came to the kitchen and found out why cheap mom looked embarrassed. His family had no money or food. The whole kitchen only has a small handful of corn flour, which can be squeezed so little with about three fingers. Lin Chunrong couldn't control the twitching corners of his mouth. What a poor family! Just as Lin Chunrong and Corn Noodle were staring at each other, a person walked past the door. Lin Chunrong looked up. That person has a long and square face, a broad face and a long nose, what a horse-like face. He looks 15 or 16 years old, but unfortunately he has a small beard on his face, which makes people laugh when they see him. The person who came here should be Su Damao, who lives in the backyard like his own family. Lin Chuanrong pondered the possibility of borrowing food from himself and this person. Can a group of animals in the courtyard lend him food? He has thick skin, he asked first before speaking. Big brother. Drip detected host seeking help from others. The persuasion system has been bound to the host. Host only needs to listen to others' suggestions to receive corresponding rewards. Note. The more outrageous the suggestion, the greater the malice it contains, and the more corresponding rewards the host will receive. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. First reward received. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lin Chuanrong quickly thinks about the role of the listening and persuasion system in his mind. This system looks very compatible with a courtyard house. A group of villains here, the advice given will definitely not be good advice. Su Damao in front of him can be used to test the effectiveness of the system. Lin Chuanrong thought a lot, but in reality, only a few seconds had passed. Why don't you call me speechless? Su Damao said impatiently. His mother has a big contradiction with Lin Chuanrong's mother. If his mother sees him talking to the Lin kids, she will give him another look. Lin Chuanrong showed Su Damao the last bit of corn flour at home. Big brother, I only have this little grain at home. I really can't eat enough. Can you lend me some grain? 
or can you give me any advice? Su Dumao didn't expect Lin Chunrong to stop him because there was no food, so he was clearly taken aback. How could he possibly lend grain to the Lin family? I don't have any food to borrow. Su Dumao turned his head and said, I really have suggestions to help you. Su Dumao had thick eyebrows and big eyes, but his thoughts were all crooked. If he could pit the Lin family and let them waste their last grain, starving them to death. His mother, I must be happy to see the Lin family's misfortune. Looking at Lin Chunrong, who was thin and small, with a simple and ignorant face. The bad water in Su Damao's stomach gushed out one after another. Can you catch birds? You pinch a pinch of corn flour, find a small wooden stick to support the dustpan, pull a two-meter string to tie it to the wooden stick, and when a bird eats the noodles, you pull the string to grab it. A little cornmeal for a bite of meat, you're making a lot of money. Lin Chuanrong grew up looking at people from a young age and keenly sensed a hint of malice. Su Dumao became impatient when he didn't respond and said, Have you thought it through? Once I've figured it out, I'll take some time to help you catch the birds together, he urged. Didi, someone suggested to the host to set up a trap to catch birds. The host will receive rewards for completing it. Three sparrows, two wild pigeons, one agility point, and ten luck points. Lucky point plus ten. Lin Chuanrong was surprised in his heart. Anyone who has played the game knows that lucky points are the most difficult to add. How malicious is Su Damao? Can the system reward him with a ten-point lucky point? Let go of the many thoughts in your heart. Lin Chuanrong responded quickly, I've figured it out, I'll go find something. Su Damao is afraid that his small ideas will be exposed by others in the courtyard. I insist on taking Lin Chuanrong out of the yard and setting up a trap at the corner of a deserted alley. Lin Chuanrong pretended to be obedient and clever on the surface, and followed along. No matter where he catches it, the system says he can get a reward, and he happens to see if the system works well. In order to conceal his thoughts, Su Damao also brought out a dustpan and a handful of sorghum noodles. If someone asks, he says he really wants to give advice to the Lin family. He also specially accompanied Lin Chunrong. Even if Lin Chunrong wasted all the last grain under his deception, no one else would blame him for Su Damao. Su Damao set up a trap and squatted on the side with his buttocks pursed out, thinking happily. Hey, you're a thief. A loud shout echoed behind him. Su Damao was startled and sat down on the ground. Lin Chunrong turned around to look. He is a person with acne all over his face and hanging eyes. He has a tall figure, and his face alone is about 25.6. Lin Chunrong immediately realized that this was Hiyuju. But at this time, he should only be 15 or 16, he looks. Too anxious. Su Damao, are you here to pout your butt and become a thief? Who on the street buys you? said the horse duckling's voice. Then, Li Chunrong felt a gaze cast on him and heard he usually say. Kid, didn't you burn it to death? A feeling of special contempt and disdain towards others. Lin Chunrong thought to himself, no wonder no one in the courtyard treated him well and called him a silly pillar. Your mouth is so poisonous, both poisonous and lacking. Su Damao rolled his eyes and said, get out of here, grandpa. I'm catching birds here. Don't cause trouble. Catch a bird. Catch your own bird, right. Silly Zhu sneered, where's the bird? In your pants. Ha ha ha. Who the hell are you talking about? Su Damao immediately countered. Speak of you. The silly dog called me. Su Damao stood up and casually threw the string in his hand. He focused on cursing silly pillars. Lin Chuanrong ignored their argument and grabbed his own string in his hand. Think about when the system's rewards will come. Drip, complete the suggestion, reward the host. Three sparrows, two wild pigeons, agility point plus one, luck point plus ten. The next second, several birds of different sizes flew in, one after another, 
and they stumbled into the dustpan. Lin Chuanrong had quick eyes and hands, and as he pulled the rope, the dustpan fell to the ground with a loud bang. The two people on the other side, who were so noisy that they started fighting, were passively startled. What are you doing? Su Damao's reaction was the greatest. He pushed the silly pillar away and urgently accused Lin Chunrong, don't be surprised, kid. Lin Chunrong recalled the abnormality in his body when he just started. My skills are noticeably much faster. There is also a feeling of both mystery and mystery. Then he looked up at Su Damao and Silly Zhu, I caught them. What are you grabbing? You also grab your crotch. Silly Zhu sneered. Turning his head again, he mocked Su Damao and said, What kind of bird can he catch as a child? Su Damao, are you afraid of being beaten by me and cowardly? He has been burning for several days, probably burning and dizzying. Keep fighting, don't try to hide today. Su Damao thinks what Silly Zhu said makes sense. The Lin family kid just grabbed the string in his hand, how could he catch the bird? Immediately turn around and shout at the silly pillar. Just hit me, I'm afraid of you. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3 Human Numbness You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Chuanrong ignored the two people who were fighting, and he couldn't hold on to the fight, nor did he plan to. If a dog bites its fur, it's better to use its brain. He walked forward and opened a gap in the dustpan, ready to reach in and touch the sparrow. Su Damao noticed Lin Chuanrong's movements. Shrink down and dodge the punch coming from the pavement. With his mouth still, he said to Lin Chuanrong, Lin, don't bother. You think this bird is easy to catch. Just after setting up the trap, you pulled the rope and startled the birds away. I'll tell you, if you don't catch any birds even after the food is finished, don't blame me. After speaking, Su Damao never forgot to mock the foolish pillar. Silly pillar, are you not doing well? You didn't even hit me. Before he could finish speaking, Silly Pillar kicked him between his legs. Ah! Su Damao hid quickly, but his fragile little brother still suffered some injuries. Lin Chuanrong has already touched the sparrow. Grab it in your hand, warm and chirping incessantly. Lin Chuanrong started tying the sparrow's wings with a string. Seeing that he had caught the bird, Su Damao didn't bother to argue with Silly Zhu. He covered his pants and leaned over. Watching Lin Chuanrong's movements and the sparrow bound and still struggling. The tone carries a hint of disbelief. Did you really catch it? Su Damao touched his little brother who was still in pain. Are you lucky, kid? Su Damao's mood is complex. He came up with an idea to catch birds with the only bit of corn flour left at home because he was fooling the Lin family kid. Saying it's catching birds is actually equivalent to deceiving Lin Chuanrong to feed the birds. After all, the sparrows in the 49 cities are becoming more and more refined. The Lin family kid has thin arms and legs, and his reaction is slow. When he pulled the string, the bird had already flown away. I didn't expect the Lin family kid to have such good luck. Just after setting up the trap, I caught one in no time. Tisk. Su Damao let out a restless voice, clearly wanting Lin Chuanrong to waste all his food. Has Lin Chuanrong played bird catching traps before? The thought flashed through Su Damao's mind. His heart was in suspense, unsure if today's goal could be achieved, Lin Chuanrong smiled shyly. He was good. looking and had a particularly handsome smile. I have to thank Big Brother for giving me the idea, otherwise, I wouldn't have thought of setting up a trap. After speaking, he was nimble and had already tied up the first sparrow. Gently lift the dustpan open a gap and prepare to catch the second one. Su Damao felt strange at his gratitude. Before I could say anything, I saw Lin Chuanrong's movements. What are you doing? Didn't you think there were birds inside, uh? 
Su Dumao smiled and let go. It seemed that Lin didn't know how to catch birds just now, he was just lucky. Coincidentally, I bumped into a brainless bird. Now I even want to catch two at once. You were lucky enough to catch one bird the first time you caught it. He spoke confidently, there can't be a second one, two, two. There are really two sleeping slots. Looking at the two sparrows held in Yang Chunrong's hand, Su Dama was dumbfounded. He stared blankly, surprised by Lin Chunrong's good luck. You're really lucky today, kid. You can catch two birds at once. Su Damao felt uncomfortable with some of his strategies failing. I was hoping to see Lin Chunrong's disappointment after wasting food and still not catching anything. I didn't expect Lin Chunrong to have such good luck. Lin Chunrong tied up the sparrow and said, Thank you very much for giving me the idea. No matter how much meat you have, as long as you have something to eat. Didn't Su Damao just say that two lucky ones are in the sky? Why are you so careful? Silly Zhu said and wanted to lift the dustpan. He felt uncomfortable and wanted to cause trouble just because he saw this Lin family kid praising De Mao. Su Damao also agreed, yes, it's impossible to have it again. Lin Chuanrong quickly protected the dustpan, which contained two large pigeons. That's the starting dish. Okay, you protect me. I'll see how many birds you can catch today. Silly Zhu sneered and pursed his lips, clasping his hands together, watching Lin Chunrong's movements. The two watched helplessly as Lin Chunrong pulled out the third sparrow under their noses. Su Damao is a bit numb. Surprisingly, I could catch three sparrows at once. People who catch birds again cannot catch three at once. Lin Chunrong has been burning for a while, has he boosted his luck? Can this be a nest of silly sparrows, said Silly Zhu. Su Damao nodded in agreement, it makes sense, otherwise it wouldn't be possible. Lin Chuanrong bit the rope with his teeth and divided it into two pieces. For safety reasons, he is not planning to tie sparrows and pigeons to the same rope. Su Damao saw Lin Chuanrong's movements and felt relieved. He said his luck had reached its peak. There can't be a fourth bird anymore. Although he did not achieve his goal, Lin Chunrong wasted all his food. But Lin Chunrong only caught three sparrows and didn't catch anything big. Thanks to the advice I gave you today, you were able to catch three sparrows. All right, that's enough for you to cushion your stomach. Don't grab it and go back. Su Damao urged. Lin Chunrong's good luck frightened him. If he continues to catch this, he won't be able to catch ten or eight to eat a full meal. Silly Zhu coaxed on the side, this little bit is enough to dry my ass. It's not enough for me to stuff my teeth. What's there to catch? If you want me to say it, you have to catch pigeons. Have you ever eaten pigeons? They have plenty of fresh meat. Lin, you have the ability to catch a pigeon and open our eyes. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4. Su Damao's Another Trick. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lin Chuanrong still had a shy smile on his face. Really? Brother Silly Pillar, pigeons are really so delicious. The pigeon soup my dad stewed is delicious, but unfortunately you can't catch the pigeon, otherwise. Silly Pillar's pupils suddenly dilated and tightened. The unfinished words choked in my throat, and my face turned red. Lin Chuanrong still looked obedient and clever, Silly Pillar brother, is this a pigeon? He shook the big fat pigeon in his hand at Silly Pillar. This big fat pigeon is estimated to weigh one and a half pounds. How could that be? Su Damao rubbed his eyes vigorously. Take a closer look, a big fat pigeon. I really can't be any more serious. Not afraid of being caught, he even tilted his head and looked at Su Damao. This is impossible. Su Damao's eyes were almost bulging out of his sockets. 
how could you possibly catch a pigeon? Can wild pigeons still be caught in 49 cities? Su Dumao started drumming in his heart, how long did Lin Chunrong squat? Silly Zhu didn't even punch himself twice, at most two minutes. In just two minutes, the Lin family kid caught three sparrows and one pigeon. Catching sparrows is okay, how did pigeons catch them? It was caught all at once, the Lin family kid's luck is simply incredible. Wait, if Silly Zhu didn't come to cause trouble just now and didn't fight him, but waited for two more minutes, would these birds all fly into his trap? Thinking of this possibility, Su Dumao felt a cat scratching pain in his heart. Catching four birds at once, he said it's so embarrassing. Those buddies in the alley must envy themselves. Maybe someone else wants to learn how to catch birds from him as a teacher. It's all stupid. Now these are all Lin Chunrongs. It seems impossible for the Lin family to starve to death with their own calculations. Just that big fat pigeon is enough to have a full meal, exchange it for coarse grains, enough to eat longer. I haven't waited for Su Dumao to let out a mournful cry yet. Lin Chunrong reached into the dustpan again. Su Dumao thought a little numbly, shouldn't there be another one? When they finally saw the second pigeon caught in Lin Chunrong's hand, Su Dumao and Silly Zhu looked at each other and tacitly pinched each other. Su Dumao. Hiss, it really hurts. Silly pillar. Hiss, it's not a dream. Su Dumao doesn't want to speak anymore. How could it be possible? How could someone catch three sparrows and two pigeons at once? His plan today is completely hopeless. If I had known it was like this, when Lin Chunrong asked him, he would have closed his mouth and didn't say a word. I won't give him any advice to catch two fat pigeons. It's really fat, he looks envious. Silly Zhu looked at the big fat pigeon and exclaimed, this big fat pigeon must weigh two pounds, right? Lin Chunrong smiled and narrowed his eyes. Yeah, it's quite heavy to carry in my hand. Thank you very much, big brother. You gave me advice on catching birds and accompanied me. De Mao, you have made significant contributions today. Lin Chunrong said a lot of beautiful things. The actual benefits are not given at all. Not even a single sparrow hair was given to Su Dumao. Lin Chunrong held a sparrow in one hand and a pigeon in the other. I casually grabbed the dustpan under my arm and started walking. Although it sounded good, Su Dumao only felt heartbroken. Seeing someone packing up and leaving, he instinctively stopped him. Are you going to stop catching birds? Su Dumao asked. No more catching, Lin Chunrong smiled. Su Dumao's treacherous heart never dies, and with a blink of an eye, another idea comes to mind. He was planning to trick Lin Chunrong into making a bet and win over all the pigeons in Lin Chunrong's hand to keep him hungry. Holding on to Lin Chunrong, Su Dumao bewitched him and said, Three sparrows and two pigeons, fill your mouth, and if you don't taste it, it's gone. Listen to me, let's use Xiaomi as a trap this time. Xiaomi. That's too luxurious. Lin Chunrong shook his head and said, there's no Xiaomi in his house. Su Damao intensified his persuasion and said, it's not extravagant. Do you think you can catch pigeons with cornmeal, but not a wild chicken with millet? I won't lie to you, let's use Xiaomi, we can definitely catch it. Think about it, wild chicken. A chicken in the market costs one or two yuan. But I don't have Xiaomi at home, Lin Chunrong hesitated as he was persuaded, what's difficult about this? Let's make a bet, Su Damao patted his chest. As long as you can catch a wild chicken with a trap, I'll give you a bowl of millet for free. If I don't catch it, I don't want much either. Just give me those few birds in your hand. Afraid that Lin Chunrong wouldn't believe it, he even pulled up Silly Zhu and said, Silly Zhu testified, I'll get Xiaomi for you in a moment. Silly Zhu and Su Damao have been at odds since childhood and instinctively want to oppose. I thought of myself being choked by Lin Chunrong holding a pigeon just now. 
He thought for a moment and responded decisively, I testify. Silly Zhu stayed in the 49 cities for more than 10 years and never heard of anyone using a dustpan to catch a wild chicken. Besides, anyway, it's Su Damao who comes out with rice. He just needs to come out and watch others laugh. Didi, someone suggested to the host to accept the bet and continue to set traps to catch birds. The host will receive rewards for completing the task. A bowl of millet, a wild chicken, and 30 yuan. Lin Chuanrong was surprised to hear the mechanical sound of the system. He looked up at the sky and hissed, how could there be wild chickens in the 49th city? But if the system says so, there's a way, he just does it. Lin Chuanrong agreed with a smile on his face. It's a bowl of millet, so I'll cook millet porridge tonight. Su Dumao also laughed so hard that he couldn't see his teeth or eyes. In the four or nine cities, damn pheasants. Children are easy to fool. When Lin Chunrong waited for a long time and couldn't catch anything. The sparrows and pigeons in Lin Chunrong's hand are all his. This calculation can also achieve his goal. Starving to death, this little kid from the Lin family. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. Su Dumao is truly a good person. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Su Dumao went straight home to the kitchen to get Xiaomi. Lin Chuanrong also went home and tied the sparrows and pigeons tightly. I found another basin to press down on to ensure they won't run out. After finishing these, he said to Lin's mother before turning around and going out. Lin's mother is full of worries, but her own son has been making decisions since childhood. I followed him along. Su Dumao handed the bowl of millet in his hand to Lin Chunrong. Nah, Xiaomi is here. If I can't catch the pheasant soon, give me the pigeon in your hand and give me back the rice. Lin Chunrong nodded with a smile, of course, but if I catch it, this bowl of rice will be mine. Glancing at it, the bowl is still new. It's much newer than his bowl with a few notches. Okay, this bowl is also his. Su Dumao sneered in his heart when he heard Lin Chuanrong finish speaking. If Lin Chuanrong can catch a wild chicken in the 49th city today, he will write Su Dumao's name upside down. He cleared his throat and said, I set the trap for you just now, and now you should be able to graduate. Next, you can arrange it yourself. Su Damao made up his mind not to interfere. Without his help, Lin Chuanrong might not even be able to set traps properly. In this way, he won the bet between them. Lin Chuanrong smiled and said, Okay, I'll try to catch another wild chicken. After speaking, he buried his head in setting traps and acted swiftly. Su Damao watched from the side, his originally calm heart couldn't help but feel uneasy. This kid was quite well decorated. Silly Zhu laughed in his heart when he heard Lin Chunrong's words, thinking that Lin Chunrong was just talking nonsense. I was lucky enough to catch a few birds and birds, but I just wanted to catch a wild chicken. I don't even think about where the wild chickens come from in the four or nine cities. This time, the Lin family kid was tricked by the villain Su Dumao. Lin Chunrong arranged it, pulling on the string and preparing to hide aside. I don't know if Su Damao and Silly Zhu were intentional, they didn't intend to hide on the side. Continuously arguing and making noise. Lin Chuanrong ignored these two people. As soon as he crouched down, he heard the sound of the system. Didi, complete the suggestion and reward the host with a wild chicken for 30 yuan. Then I saw a big wild chicken flying to the east. Rush under the dustpan without making any bends. Looking at the plump pheasant. Su Damao's brain melon seeds seemed to have been hit by someone and began to faint. Is it really like what Silly Zhu said? The Lin family kid is lucky to have a fever. Silly Pillar stood there dumbfounded. He just looked at it with a completely humorous mindset. 
who can use rice to catch wild chickens in the 49 cities. It can be seen that the size of the wild chicken is too large to be covered by a dustpan. Lin Chuenrong made a quick decision, pulled off the wooden stick, and took advantage of the wild chicken's lack of reaction to pounce and hold it down. When he stood up with his wings, he saw a long, stinky face and a longer pulled horse face across from him. Su Dama was filled with regret. This wild chicken can't even hide, it looks like a fool. If he didn't have any other thoughts, but also caught birds together, it would be him who caught the pheasant. But now, it's Lin Chunrong who caught the wild chicken. The wild chicken and a bowl of millet are all from the Lin family. He still wanted to see the Lin family starve to death, but Baba ran to deliver food to them. Su Dumao wished he had passed out at this moment. Lin Chuenrong looked at the wild chicken with satisfaction and gave Su Dumao a sweet smile. Thank you, Brother Mao, for taking your own rice and letting me catch such a big wild chicken. Big brother, you are really a great person. Upon hearing these words, Su Dumao's heart became even more congested. I wish I could give silly Zhu two slaps. Why did you help testify just now? instead of opposing yourself. Even if Silly Zhu had just had an argument with himself and procrastinated for a while, a wild chicken could fly in front of him. Watching the wild chicken turn into someone else in front of me. Su Dumao is not an ordinary person. Su Dumao became more and more angry as he thought, more and more angry he thought, more and more angry he thought unfortunately, Lin Chunrong kept flaunting the wild chicken in front of him, causing Su Damao to turn black in front of him. He gritted his teeth to prevent himself from losing his composure. Lin Chuenrong doesn't know what Su Damao is thinking. He flipped through the pheasant to find the 30 yuan. The system promised a reward of 30 yuan in cash, is it selling the wild chicken? But it only costs 1 yuan to buy a chicken at Chaoyang Market. Who would pay 30 yuan for a wild chicken? Lin Chuenrong raised the wild chicken to his eyes and carefully examined it. Unexpectedly, there were bloodstains on the body of the wild chicken. Strangely, even after searching the entire body of the wild chicken, no wounds were found. At this point, the mechanical prompt sound of the system comes on. Tip. Send the pheasant to the military control office and you will receive the pheasant and 30 yuan in a few days. Lin Chuenrong's eyes lit up, it's really a good system with prompts. In the early 1950s, there were no street offices or courtyards for big men. Unification is managed by the military control department. Lin Chuenrong grabbed the wings of a wild chicken and found a reason for his behavior. There shouldn't be any wild chickens in the four or nine cities. It's possible that one of the wild chickens from that family ran out. I'll take it to the military control department and ask later. Maybe someone will come looking for it. Silly Zhu exclaimed in surprise, what kind of owner are you looking for? After stewing it, who knows it was you who ate it? Lin Chuenrong shook his head and said with righteous words, no, this is not what a gentleman does. What if I eat the wild chicken and run out of 30 yuan? 5 yuan is enough for two people to eat for a month, and 30 yuan is 6 months. He can still distinguish a saturated meal from a full one in June. P.S. Actually, the coin units in the early 1950s were quite large, using the set with 12 denominations, with the maximum denomination being 50,000. But the young author is really not smart, and he can't figure out prices with that method. Simply adopt the amount from the third edition of 1962. Minor flaws, please don't mind. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6. The Lin family kid is so silly. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lin Chuenrong insisted on going to the military control office to find someone to claim this chicken. Silly Zhu laughed at his foolishness in his heart. With such a big chicken, it looks like there is plenty of meat, 
so he didn't keep it for himself to eat and return it to others. It's uncertain who will deceive the chicken. Su Damao was feeling uncomfortable in his heart, eager to see Lin Chuanrong suffer, and he strongly agreed to send the chicken to find the owner. Anyway, he can't eat it, so it's just right to give it back to someone else. Let the Lin family go hungry. It's best if someone snatches that bowl of rice on the way. The two families are adjacent and very close, so he doesn't want to smell the meat aroma of the Lin family. The three of them walked separately. Before leaving, Lin Chuanrong didn't forget to stab Su Damoxin's nest again. He packed rice with a bowl into his own cloth bag. Not mentioning the return of the bowl at all, it's as if the bowl was originally his family's. He confidently said thank you to Su Damao. Big brother, you are really the best person in the courtyard. If it weren't for your insistence on sending me Xiaomi to set up a trap, I wouldn't have caught such a big wild chicken. I will definitely keep my gratitude to you in my heart, thank you so much. As he spoke, he even wanted to bow to Su Damao. This is really a good person. Dot. Su Damao weakly waved his hand, gesturing for him to leave quickly. If he doesn't leave, he really can't control himself anymore. It's even more embarrassing to argue with a child in front of outsiders. Never mind, Su Damao comforted himself and said that if there is a chance in the future, he will pit the Lin family again. The Lin family kid is such a fool, he has to give back any chickens he gets, said Silly Zhu with his hands clasped in his sleeves, yeah, even my own family can't cook anymore, and I still want face, Su Damao replied in response. It is a rare harmony for the two people who are always fighting head to head at this moment because they have the same roast object. They roast all the way back to the courtyard. Yo, why did you come back empty-handed? Didn't you go catch the bird? Yen Bugue asked. He lives in the front yard, where people often come and go through it. Yen Bugue often keeps an eye out and inquires about what others have in their hands to see if there are any advantages to take advantage of. I, I caught it, Su Damao said stubbornly. Su Damao prayed in his heart not to demolish his platform, silly pillar. The next second, Silly Zhu's creaking voice rang out, he scratching his butt. Silly Zhu pointed to Su Damao's flushed face and said, Su Damao boasts to me every day about his bird catching skills, saying that I can't compare to him. I'll just squat behind him and look at him today, I haven't seen a single bird's hair. Yen Bugue lifted the glasses on the bridge of his nose with his hand and said, then I just saw Chuanrong in the backyard holding them one by one. Oh, where are those two big fat pigeons? Didn't you catch it, Damao? Yen Bugue stared at Su Damao. He just saw the big fat pigeon in Lin Chuanrong's hand and waited here specifically. Dot. Su Damao's face turned red and quickly turned blue and white, making the two of them marvel at it. They could see the change of face in broad daylight. Su Damao hesitated for a while, wanting to say two big words. But standing next to him is a damn fool waiting to dismantle the platform. Silly Zhu felt particularly happy when he saw Su Damao feeling exhausted, even the son he disliked today felt warm. He's always boasting about Su Damao. How could he have that ability? It was all the Lin family kids who caught him. Silly Zhu gestured, you little guy caught such a big wild chicken. Humph. Su Damao was extremely angry. With a flick of his sleeve, he left the two people behind him, ignoring their cries, and went straight back to his own home. It's just that my footsteps are a bit unstable, and I almost stumbled and fell flat. Don't worry about him, Su Damao is just such a virtuous person. Silly Zhu stuttered behind him and wanted to leave. Yen Bugue stopped him and inquired, what about the wild chickens? Can we still catch them in the 49 city? If he can catch it, he will set up a trap to catch it later. A little grain, exchange for a lot of meat, he must take advantage of this advantage, Yen Bugue. Silly Zhu shook off Yen Bugue's arm and said disdainfully, the Lin family kid said the same thing. He's stubborn and insists on sending the wild chicken to the military control office. 
he says it was lost and people will come and collect it. If you ask me, this kid is also foolish. Maybe he burned his brain with a fever. Yen Bugui almost jumped up and said, Big wild chicken. Don't you keep it for yourself to eat. Will someone come and collect it? Yeah, hey, teacher Yen, where are you going, said Silly Zhu. Yen Bugui waved his hand and walked outside the courtyard without looking back. Backyard, Su family. Upon returning home, Su Damao buried his head under the blanket. The more I thought about it, the more angry I became, and in the end, I forced myself to cry. It's all due to Lin Chunrong's family. If they make good money, wouldn't they have enough money to buy grain? If you have money to buy food, you won't ask him for advice on borrowing food, and he won't give Lin Chunrong the idea of catching birds. So there won't be what happened today. There's also Silly Zhu, who has nothing to do every day and only stares at him from behind. Today, I was mocking teacher Yen in front of him. Put his face under his feet. Su Dumao turned over and wiped away his tears with the back of his hand. A thought suddenly came to my mind, Lin Chunrong has just had a fever for three days, and today's luck is so good. Can a fever really bring good luck? Su Dumao jumped up from the bed, went out straight to the faucet, and received a large basin of cold water. Biting his teeth, Su Dumao took off his clothes and splashed cold water on his body. Oh my god! It's so cool! Ah Chiu! Ah Chiu! Su Dumao sneezed two or three times in a row. Now I've also caught a cold, and when it gets hot, I can also become lucky. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7 A good child who returns gold without missing its name. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The military control office in this area is located at the entrance of the alley. Lin Chunrong walked with short legs and quickly arrived at the place. He glanced inside and saw that there were quite a few people, busy and full of fighting spirit and passion on everyone's face. Folding the chicken wings in his hand, Lin Chunrong walked in with the chicken. Child, where are your adults? Wang, who was passing by, lowered his head and glanced at Lin Chunrong, instantly noticing the cute and well-behaved child. He crouched down and looked at Lin Chunhua, can't you find the way home? Lin Chunrong shook his head and lifted the wild chicken, which stood with its chest open and looked at Wang Shiguo. No, I'm Lin Chunrong, who lives in the backyard of the courtyard at number 95 Luagu Lane Hutong, Nantung. I'm not lost, I'm here to deliver the lost item, Lin Chunrong continued, emphasizing the previous incident. I don't see any injuries on the wild chicken, but there's blood on it. Worried about who bought the wild chicken, there was an accident while killing it, and the wild chicken ran out. So I sent it over. Mr. Wang looked at Lin Chunrong again, and found that his clothes had already been patched, with some holes not even patched. Clearly a child from a poor family. When such a child catches a wild chicken, he doesn't even want to eat it himself, but instead sends a lost and found item. Wang's heart was touched, and he thought of Director Qin's suggestion to set a typical example for them, and he immediately had a plan. Good child, come with me. He stood up and walked with Lin Chunrong towards the director's office. In the office of the director of the military control department. You just came down from the front line and lived a peaceful life in the 49 cities. Director Qin looked at the young man in front of him with satisfaction. This is the runner-up of the previous military competition, with excellent physical fitness, excellent marksmanship, and excellent character. He only retired and returned to his local job after being injured. The person assigned to them is the one that old Qin boldly asked for. Don't think he doesn't know, those old guys in the east and south of the city are staring at people and waiting to be carried back to their own place. He took the lead. Yang Shibin saluted and stood straight, yes. Relax, don't be nervous. 
Director Chin smiled, sit down, let's have a chat. I heard that you have one important thing to do when you return to 49th City. Yang Shibin only sat in half of his chair, and upon hearing this, he stood at attention again. Report to the leader, yes, three years ago I had a comrade with the surname Lin, but he used a pseudonym. Director Chin nodded solemnly after listening and said, don't worry, he is a martyr and also your comrade in arms. The organization will definitely take this matter to heart and will find his family as soon as possible. Thank you, Chief. Yang Sherbin's tiger eyes were tearful. Director Chin said, why are you polite to me? Later, I'll have Xiao Wang take you along and familiarize yourself with the environment. Our director's office is just a corner ahead, Wang Gancher held Lin Chuanrong's hand. Good kid, don't be afraid later. You returned your gold at a young age and can be set as a model for us to praise, which will be helpful for you in the future. He looked at Lin Chuanrong with admiration in his eyes. Lin Chuanrong felt a bit embarrassed when praised. Can he say he came for 30 yuan? He can't do it. People in this era are really simple and simple. Everyone is a good person. Except for the group of animals in the courtyard. Xiao Wang, are you? Someone called out to them. Brother Lu, it's like this. Mr. Wang patiently repeated the matter. Unexpectedly, someone snatched the chicken from Mr. Wang's hand and looked back and forth twice. I didn't even let go of the chicken but. This is a wild chicken sent by my relatives yesterday. My dad even said he killed the chicken today to make a good meal. The coat color is exactly the same. Lu Gonsher patted his thigh and said, my dad is alone at home. It's broken. I need to go home and take a look. He threw the chicken into Mr. Wang's arms, and in a blink of an eye, the person disappeared. Director Wang wanted to catch up and help, then looked at the chicken in his hand and lowered his head to look at Lin Chunrong, looking puzzled. Lin Chunrong kindly pointed to the rope on the wild chicken's body. Uncle, it's tied up and can't run away. You go help quickly. Wang touched Lin Chunrong's head and said, Don't worry, I will definitely report your excellent qualities to my superiors and praise you. I will find someone to take you back. Lin Chunrong shook his head and said, It's okay uncle, I don't care about these things. He only cares about 30 yuan. Turning his eyes, Lin Chunrong emphasized his place of residence again, Uncle, I live in the backyard of Courtyard 95. Just return the rope to me when you come back. Mr. Wang responded and asked someone to send Lin Chunrong back. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Yen Bugui's calculation fails. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The person brought in by Director Wang is a person of great size and strength. He looked at Lin Chunrong, this little carrot head, and said nothing to let him leave on his own directly putting someone on his shoulder. Feeling a fresh perspective different from usual, Lin Chuanrong didn't compromise either. Obediently carried home. Chuanrong. Chuanrong. A person ran towards him while shouting his name. Upon closer inspection, Lin Chuanrong identified Yen Bugui. He has a lean figure, his clothes are neat and clean, and he has even specially ironed them flat. My hair was also neatly combed, and even when I ran over, there was not a single strand of hair messy. Lin Chuanrong looked around and found that Yen Bugui's glasses legs were not wrapped with adhesive tape yet. However, the calculation in his eyes was much more shrewd than in TV dramas, probably because he was not old enough to learn how to conceal it. He obediently responded, Teacher Yen. Looking down at him and asking, What's up? Yen Bugui saw that Lin Chuanrong was empty-handed and returned with the staff. My heart suddenly cooled, and I estimate that the chicken has already been handed in. He still wants to stop people saying that the chicken belongs to his family and deceive the chicken into coming over. But he still felt lucky and asked, Chuanrong, 
I heard from Silly Zhu that you caught a chicken and handed it over again. Yeah, what's wrong? Lin Chuanrong smiled. Oh my, oh my. Yen Bugue was anxiously spinning around, how could you hand it over? Teacher Yen, where can a wild chicken fly to the city of 49 cities? That chicken must be someone else's, Lin Chuanrong said confidently. If you find something, you have to return it to the owner. Chuanrong, you don't know. Yen Bugue looked at him with a scrutinizing gaze as he worked hard. Someone brought a chicken to my house today, and as soon as I turned around, the chicken disappeared, he said with a stiff face, I just want to come and take a look. That chicken should belong to my family. How about we go together and get the chicken back? Originally, Yen Bugue had this idea in mind. Lin Chuanrong suddenly realized and signaled to the staff to let him go. He raised his hand to pat Yen Bugue's shoulder. I reached out my hands and realized I couldn't reach them. He had no choice but to pat Yen Bugue's stomach. Teacher Yen, you are a teacher and educator, so you should be more sensible than me. Lin Chuanrong lowered his voice and said, the chicken has already found its owner. I even asked this official to take me home. In front of others, TSK TSK. Not very good. You, you didn't say it earlier, I. Yen Bugue stuttered. I dare not look up at the diligent gaze, afraid of seeing disdain and disdain from within. Lying and calculating is one thing, but being exposed in front of the officials still makes Yen Bugue feel a bit embarrassed. Blame Lin Chuanrong for running too fast and speaking too slowly in his heart. Lin Chuanrong saw his thoughts and smiled silently, truly deserving of being the three masters who wielded earth like gold in the drama. With a big head working, Lin Chuanrong swaggered back to the courtyard. This is my home now, thank you for bringing me back, Lin Chuanrong said politely to the secretary. Silly Zhu saw that the person who came was even bigger than him, with a bulge around his waist, was probably a weapon. His mind stopped when he wanted to come forward and inquire about the news. Just standing in the hallway, looking forward and wanting to hear what the two of them are saying. What a fool. He's so useless that the big wild chicken doesn't eat it. He's running to find some owner. Silly Zhu kept muttering and complaining incessantly. It's okay if you don't eat it and give it to me. His father He Da Ching is a cook, and he never eats less than him in his daily life. But that's a wild chicken. A wild chicken with delicious meat. It's still for nothing. Seeing Lin Chuanrong really send away the wild chicken, Silly Zhu suddenly felt uncomfortable in his heart. I think Lin Chuanrong is really a little fool. Just give the chicken as a gift, without even getting any benefits, someone just takes it home. I really don't know what this silly kid is up to. Silly Zhuda took a sip and went back to his own home. How about I also try to create a trap? No, no, Su Dumao didn't even catch anything. What if? What if there's another silly wild chicken flying out? Do whatever you say, Silly Pillar sneaks into his own kitchen. Su Dumao opened the window and saw Lin Chuanrong with a smile on his face. He gritted his teeth and poured cold water on himself again. Try again, this time you will definitely have a fever. When I have a fever, my luck will be good. Lucky, I'm a series of catching wild chickens. After catching them, he must take all the chickens home and let his mother cook for him. At that time, he will eat chicken legs while watching the Lin family go hungry. He wouldn't be like that little fool, sending the chicken back to find its owner. What a fool! You are so lucky, the doctor said to the two staff members. If it's delivered ten minutes later, the patient will be in danger. Now that the surgery has been completed and observed, if there are no issues, you can be discharged from the hospital. Thank you doctor, thank you doctor. Secretary Lu bowed repeatedly to thank you. After the doctor left, Director Lu looked gratefully at Director Wang and said, Thank you, Xiao Wang. Thank me for what I did. If I want to thank you, I should thank that little friend Lin. Mr. Wang waved his hand. 
It's not until you return the chicken to find its owner that you realize something is wrong. Lu wiped his sweat off his head and said, Yes, if it weren't for that child, I would have found out when I got home from work that my dad would. When my dad wakes up, I have to thank him well. Xiao Wang, do you know where he lives? After recalling for a while, Mr. Wang decisively said, Courtyard 95, Backyard. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. Silly Pillars Defeat and Beating. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Mom, it's time for dinner. Lin Chuenrong was still a bit uncomfortable calling someone else's mom. If you call him dad, he may be more fluent, after all, he shouts more times. He left the wild chicken in the military control office. The system says it will take some time, and the pheasant and 30 yuan will be in hand. So he discussed with Aunt Wang in the front yard and exchanged two fat pigeons for a bag of sweet potatoes. Fill the stomachs for the past two days first Mrs. Wang's daughter dot in dot law is pregnant, and she is searching everywhere for nutritious food to feed her daughter dot in dot law's grandson. She liked the two plump pigeons very much. He didn't even lower the price, and even gave Lin Chuenrong a small handful of peanuts. They roast sparrows and drink sweet potato millet porridge in a new bowl. Lin Chuenrong seized the time to fill his stomach. When Lin Chuenrong finished his meal and went to wash the dishes, it was already dark. Turn on the faucet, the water flows with a clatter. There were faint sounds of verbal abuse coming in. Turn off the faucet, and Lin Chuenrong listens carefully. The sound came from the middle courtyard. You idiot. He Ching was furious, a whole bowl of Xiaomi. What fine grain, will you take it and scatter it on the ground? It's a despicable thing. I'll beat you to death, you despicable bastard. Silly Zhu awkwardly avoided his father's belt and said, I just want to catch a wild chicken, catch a wild chicken. Oh my, don't hit me, dad. There's no wild chicken in the 49 cities, you're really my foolish son. He Ching beat him even harder after listening. Silly Zhu feels bitter in his heart. He thought that his father might not be able to detect the missing bowl of rice, but he was worried that setting up a trap for the first time would be useless, so he dug a sea bowl of Xiaomi. I didn't catch anything. And he was caught straight by his father. A tall and imposing teenager was kicked back home by his father's but all the way. I lost my life. Lin Chuenrong can catch that little one, why can't he catch it? Don't hit dad. I was wrong. Lin Chuenrong didn't know what silly Zhu was thinking in his heart. He happily listened to the sound of scolding and continued to leisurely wash dishes while humming a tune. He da Ching didn't restrain his voice, and soon, the entire courtyard knew about silly Zhu's situation. Yen Bugue's family in the front yard. It's okay, I'm just worried about losing money, Yen Bugue whispered as he heard the reason why silly Zhu was beaten. He was also preparing to set a trap, but fortunately he hesitated later because he needed food. Let's wait for the future. When Lin Chuenrong catches the wild chicken, he will come forward and coax it down. Children's things are best comforted. It's better to be deceived by him than to be deceived by the people in the outer courtyard. At least the meat is rotten in a pot. Yen Jicheng said curiously, Dad, didn't Chuenrong get caught? Yen Bugue took another sip of the mixed wine and smacked his lips, hiss, Chuenrong's luck is really good. He picked up a wild chicken that flew out of someone else's house. It's just too foolish to pick it all up and return it. Yen Bugue shook his head, and all the meat that the heavens had brought to his mouth was sent back by him. Hmm. Yen Bugue snorted coldly and stared at his second son. You just picked up a chopstick of pickled vegetables, no more. Put it back, Yen Bugue ordered. Oh, I'll go. Silly Zhu was beaten and ran around with his head in his embrace. Holding his head, he couldn't tell the direction and hid straight in the backyard. 
Lin Chuanrong just finished washing dishes and bumped into Silly Zhu. He didn't seem to see Silly Zhu's embarrassment just now, and greeted him with a smile. Brother Silly Zhu, have you eaten? The sweet potato millet porridge I just ate is delicious. Xiaomi Silly Zhu felt a burning pain in Xiaomi's buttocks as soon as he heard it. Hiss, he bit his back teeth. Is this little kid from the Lin family mocking him? As soon as Silly Zhu had this idea, he denied it himself. Lin Chuanrong is just a child, he knows nothing. Not to mention mocking others, he can be fooled around by others. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't have set traps. If I hadn't set traps, I wouldn't have been beaten. Silly Zhu muttered to himself there. This little brat, I have to make him get beaten up too, and make him lose face and reputation in front of the whole courtyard. Having made up his mind, Silly Zhu waved to Lin Chunrong. Chunrong, come here. I asked you if you still want to eat millet porridge. Yes, Lin Chunrong nodded. The millet kanji is delicious. It doesn't raise his voice at all. Silly Zhu had confidence in his heart and began to deceive Lin Chunrong. You can't eat that bowl of rice for a few meals, and the wild chicken has been sent away by you again. Your family is currently without food and money, so you won't be able to eat millet in the future. Lin Chuanrong asked very cooperatively, What should I do, silly pillar brother? Do you have any way to make me eat millet? Got hooked. Silly Zhu grinned and said, Don't you have a silver bracelet at home? It's the one your dad left for your mom. If you pawn it, you will have money to eat millet porridge. But my mom treats it like a treasure and would rather sell blood than bracelets, Lin Chuanrong said with a puzzled expression Silly Zhu interrupted him, you're foolish, you secretly took it out. Be a pawn and redeem it when you have money, it's not like you can't buy it after selling it. Lin Chuanrong's his mother care about the bracelet. If it's lost, it must be crying. When the situation escalates, the whole courtyard will think that Lin Chunrong is stealing from his own belongings and secretly say he is a thief. Didi, someone suggested to the host to become a silver bracelet. The host can receive rewards for completing the suggestion. Quota for food factory employees, cash of 10 yuan, short dot term reputation buff. Tip. Short term reputation buff which can avoid many troubles for the host after wearing it, effective time. Short term, dot. Tip. After having breakfast tomorrow, the host will pass by the alley with a silver bracelet and pay attention to the ground at the turning point. After picking up the item, they will wait in place for the owner. After hearing the system prompt, Lin Chunrong's eyes lit up instantly. With employee quotas, his family will have stable investment opportunities. The days of eating and drinking spicy food are right in front of us. He looks at Silly Zhu, what a great person he is. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10. Moved Wang and Aunt Zhang. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lin Chuanrong thought he needed to waste some time persuading his mother. I didn't expect that as soon as he said it, cheap mom agreed. Chuanrong, it's mom who's dragging you down, Lin's mother turned the bracelet on her wrist. You've been smart since you were young. If you were born into a wealthy family, you would definitely have made great achievements. Lin Chuanrong scratched his ear and said, it's not a burden. What kind of foreign language does the family say? Take it as it comes. He is more willing to spend time figuring out ways to make life easier than spending time complaining. Lin's mother seemed determined and took off the bracelet from her wrist. Chuanrong, treat it like it. She wiped away her tears and repeated, We've run out of food at home. What's the use of guarding this object? Let's just pawn it. Once it's done, you can go to Aunt Zhang's house at the entrance of the alley again and ask her to help find a job. Mom works hard and also gives our family Chuanrong a meal of meat before the Chinese New Year. Dot. 
Lin Chuanrong fell silent for a moment, okay. The next day. After breakfast, Lin Chuanrong wrapped the bracelet in a handkerchief and placed it close to his body. He bid farewell to Lin Mu and set off. Walking to the corner in front of the alley, Lin Chuanrong's eyes suddenly flashed. He squinted his eyes in the direction of the golden light. Big gold chain. What a thick gold chain. Taking two steps in three steps, Lin Chuanrong walked forward and bent down to pick up the gold chain. It's a real golden chain. At this moment, the mechanical sound of the system started, Didi, complete the suggestion, and the host will receive a reward. Temporary worker quota in the food factory, cash of 10 yuan, short dot term reputation buff. In no time, an old lady came over. The old lady was dressed brilliantly, with her head down and a pair of eyes constantly patrolling the ground. It's Aunt Zhang who lives at the entrance of the alley. Aunt Zhang, what are you looking for? Lin Chuanrong smiled and said hello. Aunt Zhang looked anxious and said, Oh, it's Chuanrong. I lost my chain, old lady. Chain, is this it? I just found it and I'm waiting for the owner. Lin Chuanrong spread out his palm. The golden chain shines in the sunlight. Aunt Zhang was pleasantly surprised and said, This is my chain, old lady. Good child, good child. You are such a good child. Lin Chuanrong's ears turned red when he was praised. At this moment, another voice called out his name. Lin, little friend. It's Mr. Wang. Uncle Wang, are you here to send me a rope? Lin Chuanrong didn't look at the wild chicken in Mr. Wang's hand. Play the child's ignorance extremely realistically. At least Mr. Wang believed it. Yes, Mr. Wang's warm hand fell on Lin Chunrong's head and gently rubbed it twice. Uncle also brought you other rewards. Uncle is going to the courtyard where you live to give you the reward now. Really? Lin Chunrong said happily. Randomly hesitated and said, but I still have to become a silver bracelet. Is it a silver bracelet? Wang and Aunt Zhang both exclaimed in surprise. Lin Chuanrong nodded and said, I only have money to buy food when I pawn it. My family has run out of money. Mr. Wang was surprised that the Lin family had run out of food and even handed in the wild chicken. Aunt Zhang's mood became even more complicated. She already liked the child Lin Chuanrong. Now that it is known that Lin Chuanrong's family is so poor that they become silver bracelets, let's take a look at the gold chain that Lin Chuanrong returned to her. What is silver compared to gold? If Lin Chuanrong secretly hides her golden chain and pawns it, it will be enough for their family to eat for a long time. When he found it, no one else saw it. Good child, Aunt Zhang had tears in her eyes. Originally, I only intended to praise you in the alley, but now it seems that it's not enough. Children, your behavior is worthy of our strong promotion, said Wang, excitedly, we need to report the matter and let the inner city know about it. Call on them to learn from you. We must set you as our role model to learn from. Now, I need to go to the courtyard where you live first and give you the reward. Aunt Zhang said, I'll go too, and I have a reward for you. Yi Zhonghai and his wife were about to go out to buy groceries when they met Lin Chuanrong and his group. Yi Zhonghai recognized Mr. Wang and Mrs. Zhang at a glance. Mr. Wang is a staff member of the military control department. Aunt Zhang is a well-known and fair person in this area. Everyone likes to come to her to explain their reasons when encountering problems, and even those in difficulty go to her and ask her to help find a job. The most important thing is that Yi Zhonghai accidentally learned that in the future, the military management department will change to a street office. Zhang's husband is most likely the director of the street office. Yi Zhonghai immediately warmly greeted and said, Why are you two here? Please come in quickly. Is something wrong in our courtyard? Mr. Wang smiled and said, Good thing, a good child has emerged from your courtyard. Ah. Yi Zhonghai's gaze shifted to Lin Chunrong. 
Lin Chuanrong smiled back under the scrutiny of Yi Zhonghai. Pooh, he looks like a dog with a righteous face. The most difficult person to deal with in a courtyard house is this person. Hypocrisy loves moral kidnapping. Mr. Wang gathered the residents of the courtyard and publicly praised Lin Chunrong. It is revealed in his words that the above will use his return of money as a typical promotion. The people in the courtyard were in an uproar. Isn't it that the Lin family can't afford to eat anymore? How foolish of you to send out the wild chicken you got. You're so foolish. The military control department has already received praise. The Lin family kid has become famous. I really envy Sister Lin for having such a good child. Do you think Chuanrong will be published in the newspaper? It's possible. You're doing well. You're doing well. Yen Bugue's mood is complicated. Yesterday, he told his family that the Lin family is foolish, but today they were named and praised by the higher ups. Fortunately, the person who came today is not the one from yesterday. Otherwise, Yen Bugue really wants to find a crack in the ground to penetrate. Yi Zhonghai, who was in the crowd, was feeling anxious and had been looking down on the children of the Lin family. I think my disciple Jia Dongxu is the best, and I place all my hopes for retirement on him. I didn't expect the Lin family's child to be praised by the authorities at the age of only eight. As a typical promotion. How good this reputation is for him. With Yi Zhonghai having this reputation, the possibility of Jia Dongxu providing him with retirement is even greater. Silly Zhu stood behind his father, covering his buttocks. He is almost unbearable, and he also wants to be named and praised by the leader. That wild chicken was caught by Lin Chunrong in front of him yesterday. How great it was for him to go with the military control department at that time. Follow along and one must have been praised today, including He Yuzhu. It's all Su Damao's fault. Yesterday, he insisted that the Lin family boy was foolish and asked him to return the chicken himself. If I go with you, or if Su Damao stops the Lin family kid. Silly Zhu complained in a low voice. The Lin family kid has been really lucky these past few days. Qin Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 